okay? It's, it's half as long as, uh, which house is half as long as the alphabet and twice as hard to pronounce. And so you can understand why I made that choice. And so what I'm gonna share tonight is something that is near and dear to my heart because it has affected literally everything. I'm talking about not only professionally, in my business, how much money I make, how much I work in my business, what I do on a day-to-day -day level, but also my personal life. And that means how much free time I have, what I do in that free time, my relationships, my health, all of these things. Now, would you guys agree that you really need both sides of that to be successful, yes or no? Yes. yes. You do, and I see this all the time where, listen, I get it, I get it. I'm an entrepreneur myself, a real estate investor myself, I'll tell you more about myself in a second. Most of us focus on business first mm -hmm. and hope that someday we'll have the life that will, that will provide us. I'll tell you now, I coach some of the top investors across the country and I'll tell you more times than not, you go too far down that path, it's really hard to reverse it. You can't let life have the leftovers and I promise you that when you make life a priority, you will become a better investor, a better business owner, a better entrepreneur. Now specifically, we're talking about this thing called life and air and like Liz says, it's, think of the word millionaire except with life. And by the way, who here would like to be a millionaire? Yes. Like, who, okay, that's, I don't see some hands going up. That's interesting. Okay. So I guess you already are then. <laughs> okay, yes. All right, there we go. And so I'm going to make a bold prediction, if you let me. By the end of this evening, if you pay attention, and by the way, we did get a late start, so please hang out to the end so you can take full advantage of this. By the end of this evening, you would rather be a life millionaire instead of a millionaire. I promise you that. I see some smiles right now. Let me prove you wrong. Okay? Does that sound good? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what we're going to talk about tonight is the four stages of financial prosperity. These are four simple, elegant stages that if you follow in order, that's key to all this, okay? If you follow in order, virtually guarantee, or at least as close to a guarantee can get, that you will achieve both time and financial freedom. You need both. We know plenty of people that...